the key of magic, the tablets of Toth, tablet number six, the emerald tablet. This is a very fascinating read, and I find it amazing that now is the day that it kind of came to me to read it to you guys. Because just recently, I had an interview with Jenny Moonstone, and you can listen to that interview. We just did it a few days ago. She is very intelligent. She knows a lot about magic, mysticism, the paranormal. And, you know, she just resonates at a very high level. So now, you know, I, I pull open Gerald Clark's book, The Seventh Planet, Mercury Rising. Definitely pick up your copy today at GeraldClark77.com. Use the code Leak Project and get a 10% discount. And the Emerald Tablets of Toth are actually in this book. So... Like, okay, I'm going to read some emerald tablets today. Which one should I read? And we need some light today. We need some, some mojo, some good mojo, some force. We need to use the force today. I mean, recently I read to you the Book of the Law that was channeled via Aleister Crowley's Holy Guardian Angel, which he refers to as I was the great beast, the Antichrist himself. Yet it's his guardian angel. Very powerful. Interesting. At the same time, it's it's an uh, it's a very interesting paradox. And also, if you you know listen to that whole three part set of that channeled writing via Aleister Crowley and I was and his either his wife or one of his one of his lady magic friends at the time. It starts off all nice and kind, and it ends very very wicked. You know, I mean, he's talking about plucking the eyeballs out of Jesus and and uh, flapping his wings in front of Muhammad and making him blind as a god of war. So some people say it's just a, a big con. Some people really follow that to a T, and that's why, you know, whether you believe it or not, it doesn't matter if it's a con. There's people out there that have enough power and positions in place to where they use that as kind of a blueprint or many of his teachings. So you know, one thing that I strongly disagree with in some people's circles of, they'll say, love is the law, love under will. And that's a Thelemite saying. And if that's somebody's belief, that's fine. I feel that love and will are one and the same. Because if you're following your will, that is love. I mean, what you were created for to follow that path, what greater good and love is there. If everybody was on their path doing what they were supposed to be doing, I think things would be a lot better than they are now. Unfortunately, because of these artificial constructs that have been created due to various factors, it's not organic like it should be. So, which at the same time causes other scenarios and opportunities which can become great and fantastic. You just have to strive for them and reach them in a very boot-like manner boot camp like <laughs> boot camp like manner so i think this is going to be great i mean just this tablet tablet six of toth the key of magic and i'll go ahead and read it to you guys now we need some we need some some good light today we need some some brightness so hark ye O man to the wisdom of magic hark the knowledge of powers forgotten long ago in the days of the first man warfare began between darkness and light men then as now were filled with both darkness and light, and while in some darkness held sway, in other light filled the soul. I, age old, in this warfare, the eternal struggle between darkness and light. Fiercely is it fought all through the ages, using strange powers hidden to man. Adepts have there been filled with the blackness, struggling always against the light. But others there are, who, filled with brightness, have ever conquered the darkness of night. Where ever ye may be in all ages and plain, surely ye shall know of the battle with night. Long ages ago, the sons of the morning descending found the world filled with night. There in the past began the struggle, the age-old battle, darkness and light. Many in the time were so filled with darkness, the only feeble flamed the light from the night. Some they were masters of darkness who sought to fill all with their darkness, sought to draw others into their night. Fiercely withstood they the masters of brightness, fiercely fought they from the darkness of night. 
sought ever to tighten the fetters, the chains that bind men into the darkness of night. Use they always the dark magic brought into men by the powers of darkness, magic that enshrouded man's soul with darkness, banded together as in order, brothers of darkness, they through the ages, antagonists, they to the children of men, walked they always, secret and hidden, found yet not found by the children of men. Forever they walked and worked in darkness, hiding from their light, hiding from the light in the darkness of night, silently, secretly, use they their power, enslaving and binding the soul of men. Unseen they come and unseen they go. Man, in his ignorance, calls them from below. Dark is the way of the dark brothers travel. Dark of the darkness, not of the night. Traveling over earth, they walk through man's dreams. Power they have gained from the darkness around them to call others dwellers from out of their plane in ways that are dark and unseen by man into man's mind space reached the dark brothers around it they close the veil of their night there through its lifetime that soul dwells in bondage bound by the fetters of the veil of the night mighty are they and the forbidden knowledge, forbidden because it is one with the night. Hark ye, O old man, and list to my warning. Be ye free from the bondage of night. Surrender not your soul to the brothers of darkness. Keep thy face ever turned toward the light. Know ye not, O man, that your sorrow only has come through the veil of the night. Hey, man, heed ye my warning. Strive ever upward. Turn your soul toward the light. The brothers of darkness seek for their brothers, those who traveled the pathway of light. For well know they that those who have traveled far toward the sun in their pathway of light have great and yet greater power to bind with darkness the children of light. List ye, O man, to he who comes to you, but weigh in the balance if his words be of light. For many there are who walk in dark brightness and yet are not the children of light. Easy it is to follow their pathway, easy to follow the path that they lead. But yet, O man, heed ye my warning, light comes only to him who strives. Hard is the pathway that leads to the wisdom. Hard is the pathway that leads to the light. Many shall ye find the stones in your pathway. Many the mountains to climb toward the light. Yet know ye, O man, to him that overcometh free will. He be of the pathway of light. For ye know, O man, in the end light must conquer, and darkness and night be banished from light. Listen, O man, and heed ye this wisdom. Even as darkness, so is the light. When darkness is banished, and all veils are rendered, out there shall flash from the darkness the light. Even as exist among men the dark brothers, so there exists the brothers of light. Antagonists, they of the brothers of darkness, seeking to free men from the night. Powers have they, mighty and potent, knowing the law, the planets obey. Work they ever in harmony and order, freeing the man, soul, from its bondage of night. Secret and hidden walk they also. No, not are they to the children of men. Even have they fought the dark brothers. Conquered and conquering time without end, yet always light shall in the end be master. Driving away the darkness of night. Hey man, know ye this warning. Know ye this knowing. Always beside thee walk the children of light. Masters, they of the sun power, 
ever unseen, yet the guardians of men open to all is their pathway, open to he who will walk in the light. Free are they of dark amenti, free of the halls where life reigns supreme. Sons are they, and lords of the morning, children of light to shine among men. Like man are they, and yet are unlike. Never divided were they in the past. One have they been in oneness eternal throughout all space since the beginning of time. Up did they come in oneness with the all one up from the first space formed and unformed. Given to man have they secrets that shall guard and protect him from all harm. He who would travel the path of the master free must he be from the bondage of night. Conquer must he, the formless and shapeless. Conquer must he, the phantom of fear. Knowing must he gain of all of the secrets, travel the pathway that leads through the darkness. Yet ever before him keep the light of his goal. Obstacles great shall he meet in the pathway, yet press on to the light of the sun. Hear ye, O man, the sun is the symbol of the light that shines at the end of thy road. Now to thee give I the secrets. Now to meet the dark power, meet and conquer the fear from the night. Only by knowing can ye conquer, only by knowing can ye have light. Now I give unto thee the knowledge Know to the masters the knowing that conquers all the dark fears. Use this, the wisdom I give thee. Masters thou shall be of the brothers of night. When unto thee comes a feeling, drawing thee nearer to the darker gate, examine thine heart and find if the feeling thou hast has come from within. If thou shalt find the darkness, thine own thoughts, banish them forth, from the place in thy mind. Send through thy body a wave of vibration, a regular first and regular second, repeating time after time until free. Start the wave force in the brain center, direct it in waves from thine head to thy foot. But if thou findest thine heart is not darkened, be sure that a force is directed to thee. Only by knowing can thou overcome it. Only by wisdom can thou hope to be free. Knowledge brings wisdom, and wisdom is power. Attain, and ye shall have power over all. Seek ye first a place bound by darkness. Place ye a circle around about thee. Stand erect in the midst of the circle. Use thou this formula, and you shall be free. Raise thou thine hands to the dark space above thee. Close thou thine eyes, and draw in the light. Call to the spirit of light through the space-time using these words, and thou shall be free. Fill thou my body, O spirit of life. Fill thou my body with spirit of light. Come from the flower that shines through the darkness. Come from the halls where the seven lords rule. Name them by name, one. Name them by name, I, the seven, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine. Name them by name, one, the seven, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine. By their names, I call them to add me, free me, and save me from the darkness of night. Untanas, Quertas, Chito, and Goyana, Huerto, Simveta, Arda. By their names I implore thee, free me from darkness, and fill me with light. Know ye, O man, that when ye have done this, ye shall be free from the fetters that bind ye. Cast off the bondage of the brothers of night. See ye, not that the names have the power to free by vibration the fetters that bind. Use them at need to be free, thou thine brother, so that he too may come forth from the night. Thou, O oh man, 
art thy brother's helper, let him not lie in the bondage of night. Now unto thee give I my magic, take it, and dwell on the pathway of light. Light unto thee, life unto thee, sun, may thou be on the cycle above. Wow. So, literally, I think you were just given the formula right there to eliminate archons. There you go. That's the archon spell book right there. Now, remember, though, you can't just say something and expect it to work. I mean, you have to put energy into those vibrations. You have to, you know, follow that, follow that to a T if you want to have that hypnotic mindset when you go into it because by doing what is described in that book that'll take you to that place mentally and help get you there some people can get there without doing that just in their mind and and some people might refer to that as chaos magic because you don't use the typical dogmatic principles that a lot of esoterica has used previously especially the western cultures and even eastern cultures so it's just a completely different form of mental practices and I think that that's fantastic. So I would like to actually, just to give credit where credit is due, because at first I thought it said I and not one. It's not as light in here as it should be, and I probably should get some reading glasses possibly. So I hate to say that, but, you know, he says, send through the body a wave of vibration, a regular first and regular second. Can someone connect the dots there for me, please? Repeating time after time. Okay, I get that. You know, the wave force at the brain center, that almost sounds like some of those beats you listen to, the binaural, uh, binaural beats. But then, you know, then you have to create the, you have to be in a, a space that's going to be dark. You're going to have to create the circle. And the reason he talks about the circle is that's the circle of protection. Even if you just think in your mind it's a circle of protection, that has a, an effect. And, and you have to put some serious energy into that as well. It's all in your imagination, guys, everything, all of this. It's all in our imagination. So the more powerful your imagination is, the more powerful your mind is. Think about that for a minute. How crazy is that? Crazy and true at the same time. Bingo! All right. So... Nanu, nanu, nanu. And the lead score ball player right now just scored 69 points. Oh, wait, I was just having a, a harp on moment there because I thought I was in a basketball game or something. Okay, here we go. Just throwing a little bit of fun out there, I know. That was way off left field, wasn't it? Like, where did that come from? The Anunnaki made me do, made me do it. I'm going to blame them. So, here we go. Call to the spirit of light through the space-time using these words, and thou shall be free. Fill thou my body, O spirit of life. Fill thou my body with spirit of light. Come from the flower that shines through the darkness. Come from the halls where the seven lords rule. Name them by name. One. No, no, that, that isn't I. Where's the one? Dang it. I just screwed up the whole spell. I'm going to have to do it again. <laughs> All right. Let's try it one more time. Call to the spirit of light through the space-time using these words, and thou shall be free. Fill thou my body, O spirit of life. Fill thou my body with spirit of light. Come from the flower that shines through the darkness. Come from the halls where the seven lords rule. Name them by name. I, the seven, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine. By their names I call them to aid me. Free me and save me from the darkness of night. Untanas, Quertus, Chitl, and Goyana, Huerta, Simveta, Ardal. By their names I implore thee, free me from darkness and fill me with light. Boom! I'm done. Archon's gone. Nanu, 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 shapeshifters will not assimilate me. Bingo. That's it. There you go. That's the Archon vibration right there. Mix it up. Add some good beats to it. Shapeshift it a little bit. Tweak it. Have your fun. Just label it Archon Eliminator. You will not assimilate me. Abracadabra. Boom! There you go, ladies and gentlemen. The Emerald Tablet of Magic. That was good. I like that. And I'm listening to some good, got a little bit of good dubstep going on right now. So make sure to pick up your copy. Seventh Planet Mercury Rising. Use the code Leak Project at a 10% discount. You can actually get access to the Emerald Tablets here. And 
Gerald Clark does a great job breaking this stuff down. He's very knowledgeable in the Anunnaki. So, Tablet 6, the key of magic. You just got the key of magic right there to be a light worker and eliminate the dark, arconic, serpent manipulator, parasitic entities that just love to feed off of people like a gourmet buffet. Become a premium member at leakproject.com. Make sure to pick up one of those quick bivvies. I'll leave a link in the video description box. One of those quick bivvies could help save you in a situation where you might get very cold. Uh, you know, as an example, let's say you're taking a road trip, you're going through the Rocky Mountains, the weather's bad, you go off the side of the road, and you need to stay warm for uh, an extended period of time. Well, you could put this quick bivy around you, and it could help keep you warm in that car, keep you warmer in that car longer to where if somebody needed to rescue you, it would give you a better chance of survival. So I'll leave the link in the video description box for the quick bivy. Everybody should have one. You know, have it in your glove box, under your, under your car seat. Have one in your camper bag, your bug out bag. Give one to your friends and family. And also make sure to become a premium member at leakproject.com. That is my shameless plug, ladies and gentlemen. Bing bong. Be the change you want to see.